hello everyone welcome back to the maxida youtube channel how are you today it's been quite a while that um, we did one of our um demystifying crochet so today is a special day yeah we're demystifying a summer shirt you know um usually yeah for men crochet apparel uh is difficult to uh, to, to uh, dream up a style or create a style that a, a, a guy can wear every day uh, you know all day every day is usually difficult all right but um, yeah um, some of us have um, tried to put together stitches <laughs> that work for our men okay so today we're gonna be demystifying what Sean Mendes was well, Sean Mendes is a very very handsome Canadian singer and songwriter and actor all right i don't know if you've seen the movie lyle lyle crocodile my family and i have and it is a beautiful movie to see you should totally go see that with your children and then he also sang a very beautiful song beautiful beats you know nice wordings the name of the song is stitches you can imagine he sang stitches and then <laughs> he's wearing um, crochet stitches okay so um before i go ahead to tell us about uh, sean mendes uh, summer shirt is red by the way and um, three colors red um white i think there's some black in there and some green so four colors all together so if i tell you about that his shirt are you new here you should totally go subscribe to our channel on a weekly basis we bring you brand new videos um you know um, telling you how we made one of ours inspiring you on all the different possibilities of crochet demystifying what one celebrity or another wore and um you know simplifying uh, patterns uh, modifying patterns everything crochet we do it here all right so yeah um you can find our galleries up on instagram for our wedding day apparel you find those at market city weddings for our um corporate casuals and accessories you find those at market city models do well to follow do well to um, like do well to leave a nice comment and do well to share our content all right so what is sean mendes wear like several other um male celebrities right they try to put on something really simple it's usually like a shirt something you can wear even during the summer right so yeah it's a simple shirt a short sleeve shirt and button down up front with a collar all right so essentially this shirt looks like this i'm just going to draw you something really simple so this is the body of the shirt right here this is the body of the shirt this is the sleeve right here and so you have the shoulders there you have the sleeve right here and then you got that shoulder right there okay there's a, a button pat right here somewhere in the middle okay it's got some buttons right there okay and then um here there's a, a collar right there's a collar there okay so yeah that's it essentially mm -hmm. that's a shirt it's a short sleeve shirt this shirt was made from uh, double crochet stitches and um, i want to say double, mostly double crochet stitches and then chains somewhere you know like when you have a double crochet stitch a double crochet stitch a chain another double crochet stitch and another double crochet stitch so five stitches inside one stitch where one of them is a chain all right all of that falls into the same similar stitch you know down here similar thing right and then these are bordered by single crochet stitches all right these were bordered by single crochet stitches that's what formed the entire the entire apparel and then he edged it you know so you see different colors or the other colors here you see some other colors here too yeah where he edged the shirt or where the shirt was edged all right so this is it essentially this is what the shirt looks like all right so to create the shirt um you can do that in panels all right you may need a total number of panels of uh, say one here uh two here three here right or you can do one two three with the third one being the one at the back and then four and then five right because there's a joining here somewhere there should be another joining here somewhere okay before you walk the collar okay so essentially you know walking from here you know, just just uh, bear with me and follow my diagram so walking from here you go around and walk back to this point and then you go back come back to this point to go back like that yeah that same the stitch that i described to you earlier walk up you walk that up all the way to the um, armpit area now divide the panels into two continue the back panel and then walk this front panel up to a point where you can now um you know reduce 
in order to have room for the neck you know the neck comes out of here like this so to have room for the neck you have to reduce at some point and then create this panel the panel for the arm is going to be the same as the panel for this arm which you're going to be joining you know later on after you've joined this uh, front panel to the back panels and all that so let me show you that like really quickly for how we did ours so this is um i'm gonna we haven't done all of the joinings and all of that yet so i just this is to show you so this is the lower rectangular part yeah from the base right here to the armpit region this is the part this is the armpit region okay so when we got to the armpit region after doing that very long rectangle right there we got to this armpit region yeah we now divided the panels into three this um this half of the front panel the other half of the front panel and then this back panel right here which you walk up some more so by the time you've walked those up you can now close them up this way yeah i'm just gonna just close them up here show you you can see where we had to reduce to come up right see that here we had to reduce to come up so this is gonna be joined we're gonna join from this uh, the, this is the shoulder point we're gonna be joining this and sewing this together so we sew that together there is this armhole right here when you sew this together you have the armhole right here so this is this part yeah this is up front this uh let me show you the sleeve sleeve had already been worked so yeah it's going to be attached this way right this is the length the whole length of the sleeve so because it's at the shoulder point this is going to be attached here sewn together same for this other sleeve you're going to do the same to the sleeve right to the uh, the other sleeve now take a look at the pattern i'm going to show you i'm going to lift this up a bit so you can see what i was talking about see that right there i don't know how clear that is to you but take a good look you see the starting from here this is a double crochet post now this is the pattern right there two double crochet stitches a chain in between two double crochet stitches a double crochet the design again double crochet the design again double crochet repeatedly all through that's what was worked okay that's what was worked on sean's um shirt all right so after we've done all this joining that i talked about we're going to be using other colors okay or uh, you could maintain the same color to bring out here you're going to have to work single crochet stitches out single crochet stitches out yeah i'll show you that when all of this has been done so but i just came to show you the panels all right so yeah this is it so i'm just going to um get go off the camera to go do the joining and then i'll get back here to show you what's next all right so here we are we are done our joining the um front um panels right front panels to the back panels at the shoulder the and then the sleeves we had joined the sleeves we've also done the collar yeah right we worked the collar we worked the flaps as well the button flaps and the button hole flaps uh, there's a, we attached a video on on how we did this to to that so to um this to in the description box so you're going to see that right there and um, the color we worked in single crochet stitches essentially all right so i'm going to be showing us how we edged the base remember that the bases of the base uh the, sh the sleeve base the um shed base were all worked um differently right so i'm going to be showing us how that was done all right so uh, first of all I'm going, that, I'm going to be working that with three rows you know of edging so the first thing I'm going to do is um, okay so this is the sleeve right here the first thing I'm going to do is uh, a double crochet row so I'm just going to attach in here and work a double crochet row so double crochet row meaning one stitch into every stitch below all right so there's a double crochet here remember that there's a that this two this space here is a chain two space so i'm gonna be putting in two double crochet stitches in there remember this it was worked into one stitch so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna snatch it from here to work the stitch my two double crochet stitches into that chain two space right there and then for the double crochet that stands alone i am going to be working a post a front post double crochet stitch so two double crochet stitches into the chain two spaces 
one double crochet stitch into that um, design right there right and then a front post double crochet stitch around the double crochet stitch so you go do this for the rest of the row okay so um yeah the last double crochet stitch and then i'm gonna slip stitch in there to complete this first row so the next row is gonna be a, done in a different color and it's gonna involve a lot of um post work so i'm gonna fasten this off to make things a little easy and i'm gonna be working on the wrong side so onto this wrong side i will attach into that um into the chain the original chain three stitch right i'm gonna work on it so yeah this represents a double crochet stitch all right and then i'm gonna be working um back or back uh, posts right okay this is because i want this um the new color to show up properly up front so i'm gonna be working three of that three back posts one front post three back posts one front post three back posts one front post all the way to the end so you do same and meet me up here okay so yeah we're here at the end i'm going to just slip stitch into that um, top stitch right there we've done three uh, back posts and uh, one front post all through i'm gonna fasten off and cut this off because i don't need this color anymore i'm gonna come back with the royal blue and then this time around we're gonna be working on the right side so uh this is what's gonna happen so into that um, chain three stitch same thing i'm gonna be doing i'm just gonna insert a chain three stitch to represent a double crochet stitch okay so i have to move these stitches around so they don't so one two three double crochet done okay right so for all the back um, all the places where we worked back stitches back post i'm gonna be working front post now so i have two front posts here first of all so i work that and then i work this back post one so front post three one two and three back post one so that's what i'm going to be doing throughout front post three one two and three and then the back post just one so you go do that and then we'll meet up here at the end of the row okay so we're at the end the very end and then i'm just gonna slip stitch into a stitch up there that row and everything essentially done okay i'm gonna cut this off so that's it that's for the sleeve the other sleeve also done and then the base also done all right so um collar done sleeves done body of the shirt done a few buttons attached i'm going to be attaching the last button you know so that you can see how that was done all right so um we use the main color which is this one right here so i'm just going to cut off a piece and i'm going to thread a needle thin enough to go into the bottom hole all right so yeah it's good to have yarn needles you know of different sizes so here that's the button hole right there so i'm just going to place these okay i could even button this so that i have an exact idea of where to place this one so this goes here right there okay so now I'm just i'm going to be sewing from under i pick a hole 
Okay, it's proving to be a little tricky, so I pick a hole. Mm -hmm, yep. I pull it up in, to have enough left over. Then I sew. Mm -hmm. Put in there four holes in this button. So I'm going to be going in diagonal fashion. All I have to do is go into each pair twice. So I've gone into the pairs once. So I'm just going to go do my second trip. So second trip starts here. And then... Okay. No nope, wrong hole. Mm -hmm. yep, that's it. And then that's the end. Yeah, just each pair twice. Cut this off. Then I, you know, secure this. And that's the end. Cut this really close, but carefully. So yep, buttons also done. So that that's the shirt essentially. Let me put all everything in place so that I can show you the assembly, right? So here, that's the collar right there. The body of the shirt. Everything buttoned. Right. So what the extra thing we did to this shirt is that we worked a pocket. So the pocket is going to be right here. Yeah. Yep. We this like I said, it's a variation. We did. We're not doing exactly what was done for Sean Mendes. So yeah. And then here is where we're going to be attaching our garland. So we're just going to place it nicely, right, evenly. And then attach, we left this straggler right here. This straggler we're going to be using to sew onto the flap, this front flap of the shirt. Okay, so, so that's it. You can, you know, you can um, uh, make your, yeah, you can curve it that way. Or you can leave it straight up and leave it straight. That's left to you. So go to town. You can also walk flowers and place them on top of, you know, you can place flowers right there, flower here, flower there, flower here, flower there, flower here. That's left to you. You can attach the garland also to the sleeves. That's also left to you. So essentially, that is Sean Mendes. Um, yeah, a variation of what was done for Sean Mendes. Uh, remember to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching us demystify this. <laughs> and bye for now.